Hello, welcome to the PARS Health TV channel. We hope you're having a good day and you are happy and healthy. In this channel, we give you tips to keep you healthy and out of trouble. In this video, we want to talk about cholesterol and the effect of high cholesterol on the body. This video is for educational purposes only and if you have any specific condition or illness, you should consult with your doctor. Cholesterol is a fat-like, waxy substance that helps your body make cell membranes, many hormones, and vitamin D. The cholesterol in your blood comes from two sources, the foods you eat and your liver. Your liver makes all the cholesterol your body needs. Cholesterol and other fats are carried in your bloodstream as spherical particles called lipoproteins. The two most commonly known lipoproteins are low-density lipoproteins, LDL, and high-density lipoproteins, HDL. Low-density lipoprotein, LDL, cholesterol. People sometimes refer to this as bad cholesterol. High LDL levels cause plaque to build up in the blood vessels, narrowing them. This narrowing can lead to stroke, heart attack, and other problems. High density lipoprotein, HDL, cholesterol. People sometimes call this good cholesterol. Therefore, low HDL levels may also be a health concern. Cholesterol's functions include being a component of bile acids, which aid in the digestion of fatty foods, being the precursor of steroid hormones, helping the skin make vitamin D when exposed to sunlight, playing a key role in cell membrane health. As the body can make all of the cholesterol that it uses for these functions, people do not need to get it from their diet. As long as the body has cholesterol in the right amounts, this substance is beneficial. However, it becomes a risk factor for several conditions when there is too much of it. If you like topics like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to see daily videos just like this one. Alright, let's get started. Symptoms of High Cholesterol High levels of LDL cholesterol usually do not cause symptoms. As a result, individuals are often unaware of the high levels until they get their results from a cholesterol screening. However, some people with very high levels may experience grayish white rings around the corneas in their eyes, or fatty bumps on their skin. About 38% of people in the United States have high cholesterol, so it is important to have a screening periodically. The diagnosis and treatment of this condition can help prevent serious problems. Effects of high cholesterol Over time, high cholesterol may lead to the development of atherosclerosis. In this condition, plaque accumulates in blood vessels throughout the body. Once the plaque buildup obstructs blood flow, it can lead to the following. Heart attack Stroke Chest pain Reduced blood flow to the legs and feet High cholesterol and high blood pressure may work together to contribute to the development of coronary heart disease. People with the highest cholesterol and blood pressure levels have the greatest risk of death from the condition. Risk factors Factors that can increase your risk of bad cholesterol include Poor diet Eating saturated fat, found in animal products, and trans fats, found in some commercially baked cookies and crackers and microwave popcorn, can raise your cholesterol level. Foods that are high in cholesterol, such as red meat and full-fat dairy products, will also increase your cholesterol. Obesity Having a body mass index, BMI, of 30 or greater puts you at risk of high cholesterol. Lack of exercise Exercise helps boost your body's HDL, or good cholesterol while increasing the size of the particles that make up your LDL, or bad cholesterol, which makes it less harmful. Smoking Cigarette smoking damages the walls of your blood vessels, making them more prone to accumulate fatty deposits. Smoking might also lower your level of HDL, or good cholesterol. Age Because your body's chemistry changes as you age, your risk of high cholesterol climbs. For instance, as you age, your liver becomes less able to remove LDL cholesterol. Diabetes High blood sugar contributes to higher levels of dangerous cholesterol called very low-density lipoprotein, VLDL, and lower HDL cholesterol. High blood sugar also damages the lining of your arteries. How to lower cholesterol The American Heart Association AHA, recommends that people follow these habits to lower their cholesterol. 1. Eat a heart-healthy diet 
A heart-healthy diet includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, nuts, fish, poultry, low-fat dairy products, and no tropical vegetable oils. It also involves limiting foods high in salt and sugar, along with red and processed meats. The best dietary practice to lower cholesterol is to avoid saturated and trans fats, which are present in various food sources, such as fatty meats and packaged foods. 2. Exercise regularly. A sedentary lifestyle lowers HDL cholesterol, an effect that raises LDL cholesterol. Getting at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week can lower total cholesterol and blood pressure. 3. Quit smoking, if applicable. When a person with high cholesterol smokes, it further increases their risk of coronary artery disease. Quitting smoking can raise HDL cholesterol and lower LDL cholesterol. As secondhand smoke is also harmful, non-smokers should avoid exposure where possible. 4. Reach or maintain a moderate weight. Overweight and obesity raise LDL cholesterol and lower HDL cholesterol. Losing as little as 5 to 10% of body weight can improve cholesterol levels. When to contact a doctor. Anyone with cholesterol levels that do not fall within the desirable range should see a doctor. The person's treatment options will depend on how high their cholesterol levels are, and whether they have other risk factors for heart attack or stroke. The CDC reports that doctors may prescribe drugs for people who have an LDL cholesterol level of at least 190 mg per deciliter without risk factors, or at least 70 mg per deciliter with risk factors. Treatments Doctors prescribe several types of medications to lower cholesterol. The CDC lists the following Statins These drugs reduce the liver's production of LDL cholesterol and increase its ability to remove this substance. Niacin this B vitamin increases HDL cholesterol while decreasing LDL cholesterol. Bile acid sequestrants. These molecules remove bile acids, which help decrease cholesterol. Injectable medicines. Doctors mainly use these drugs for people with a genetic condition that causes very high levels of LDL cholesterol. As there are no symptoms of high cholesterol, people may have it without being aware. The most common cause is unhealthy habits so doctors typically recommend making certain lifestyle changes. These include practices such as eating a nutritious diet, getting regular exercise, and quitting smoking. Doctors also prescribe medications for certain individuals. A person with high cholesterol should visit their doctor to get a personalized treatment plan. If you are interested in videos like this, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day. See you in the next video.